we were looking for a new lathe um, to replace the uh, Tormach, and we wanted something that would last us a good while, something that had a sub-spindle, preferably, and uh, we ended up finding a used Akuma LU-15. Um, it runs OSP 7000. It's kind of an older machine. The, um, the interface and um, OS, I guess you'd call it, is uh, pretty old, and... Um, and the Akuma OS is a little bit, um, a little bit different, I guess. It, it's kind of hard to uh, get figured out. But anyway, this is the uh, beginning of the story of how all of this, uh, all of this uh, came together. No matter how much planning you put into something, things always seem to go wrong. Um, the machine was supposed to be dropped off by the 18-wheeler at the rigging company in Houston, about 100 miles away from us. And then the riggers were supposed to bring it in and drop it off and bring the machine and put it into place. Uh, for some reason, that didn't happen. Uh, the actual delivery company brought it to the shop itself. The truck was too big to get into the parking lot. Um, the 18-wheeler got stuck. We had to get it towed out. Um, the truck driver didn't have the money to get his truck towed out, so we ended up paying for that. The truck driver also used um, just tarps, I guess he bought at Walmart, um, that didn't cover the machine or got tore up along the way. Um, it rained along the way, so our manuals and everything were stored outside on the bed of the truck and got wet. Um, we told the rigging company that we had a gravel lot and that we needed steel plates, told them about how many we needed. Um, they didn't bring enough, so they had to work around, um, using too few plates and, uh, took quite a bit longer than expected. I'm not going to use this sh uh, shipping company ever again. Uh, I don't want to talk bad about anybody, but um, this was completely unprofessional. The guy got stuck in the lot, was argumentative about um, where he was supposed to deliver the machine, um, was going to leave his truck half parked in the highway. Uh, we towed it out because we didn't want anybody to basically die coming around a corner and having his truck stuck halfway out in the road. Um, he ended up having to stay the night there. Um, so anyway, I, I, I'm going to try to block, you know, him out of the video as much as possible, but, um, yeah, I, I, w I wouldn't use the, this rigger. I mean, this, uh, delivery company again, the riggers were actually really good. There were several things wrong with this machine when we got it. Um, the way it was shipped, it's hard to say what was caused um, by the shipping and what was, um, you know, a problem with the machine before we, you know, before it was shipped. Um, we didn't actually go see the machine in person. It was halfway across the country when we bought it, so, um, you know, we can't really complain about that. I'll, you know, we can't say what was, what happened where. So we're just dealing with the consequences of that. Um, by our, you know, next time we will. Um, probably go look at the machine, especially when spending a substantial amount of money on it, uh, but lesson learned there. Um, we're going to split this video up into a couple different videos because um, this is already getting a little long. The next video is probably going to be um, of the riggers uh, bringing the machine in and putting it into place. Alright, thanks for watching guys.